All right, how's it going, everyone? Um, today, I am going to show you how I convert my TCG player packing slips that look like this and turn them into something like this. Okay, so what I want to show you today is um, how I accomplished uh, using my uh, four by six thermal label printer uh, to print off uh, TCG player packing slips. Now, uh, the reason I went with this choice is because um, using a thermal printer to pack your to print your packing slips saves hugely on ink. Uh, ink is probably, I mean, it's got to be one of the most expensive things um, for you know shipping. Uh, for me personally, uh, I mean, envelopes are relatively cheap. I mean, other than stamps, maybe, but uh, other than stamps, I would say the ink is the next uh, highest uh, cost uh, for shipping stuff. So uh, I wanted to show you. So I have a few example packing slips in here. Um, the I, I have I do have permission to show some of the information that's in these packing slips. Uh, they they were actually. Uh, I had my wife um, uh, purchase a few orders on TCG Player so that I could have these example packing slips, and that uh, and it uses an address that um, isn't uh, real. But um, we were able to obtain, you know, I didn't actually send them to her, so it didn't matter. So anyway, um, let's take a look at uh, this packing slip. So this is how they usually look, and. Uh, so you got the address that you're sending it to here. You've got uh, you have more shipping information, but buyer and seller name is included. Then you have just a breakdown of your items and then a few uh, kind of TCG player specific uh, informational things down here. But if you try to print this, so I, I'm going to change this to uh, actually, sorry, it's already on thermal printer. So if I try to print this on my thermal printer, um, and generally when I print this, uh, so I'll, I, I choose my paper size, it's already there, uh, to four by six, because that's what my ther thermal printer prints. Uh, usually it'll kind of look something like this, but then if you say print to print to fit to printable area, it'll look like this. The problem with this is uh, when this ends up printing out on a four by six thermal uh, printer, it it's extremely small. It's it's almost hard to read some of the line items. Uh, at least that's what I found. It, it starts to get a little bit blurry. Thermal printers just aren't made for precision. So this just it's just too small. Um, and you know most of the time, uh, buyers won't care too much. And if you were to print this out, you know they probably wouldn't say anything. But uh, I've heard reports of people doing this, and then uh, someone complained about the. The packing slip being unreadable or they just didn't like how it was presented. Um, so I wanted to come up with a way to uh, make this a little bit bigger, more readable. And, you know, I, I tried a, a few different options. Like if you select this third option here for a custom size, you know, I could say like, uh, I don't know, let's say 60. And it, it begins to increase the size, but it starts to cut off some of your uh, some of your slip, you know, and maybe you, th you say, well, it's not that important that some of this gets cut off as long as it has some of the, the basic information. But, you know, I, I just didn't think that was very professional. Um, so I, I decided to come up with my own solution. So let's cancel out of this. Um, basically, what I created, let me go ahead and go back out one. So I created a TCG label creator. Um, now, I won't bore you with uh, the code, uh, but basically it's, you know, it's a C-sharp program. I'm a C-sharp developer. That's what I do for work. So um, I wrote it in C-sharp, um, but, I, you know, we don't need to go over the code uh, in this video. I don't really uh, think that's going to be too helpful for people, but I do want to show how the program works and how you can use it. So uh, I will be providing a download link in the description. Uh, of this video uh, for the TCG label creator. And uh, once you download it, 
uh, you're just going to go ahead and double click on it and it's going to look like this so uh, it's yeah TCG label creator I I'm calling this part of kind of a suite that I have a vision for called Canto tools I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit at the end but that's um, that's why uh, it's called that uh, but essentially how it works is you browse to the directory that uh, you have your packing slips. It's going to automatically detect all the TCG player packing slips in that directory. So you, you know, generally you may want to set up a separate directory where you put your, put your packing slips and then you, um, and then you can run this program on that directory. Uh, you'll, you'll select your label font size. So uh, most of the time you're just going to want normal, uh, but potentially you may want to select small if, for example, you have a very large order and you want to try to keep it to a single page, that, that may be an option. Uh, so I, I've made sure to allow that. Medium, medium is essentially the same as normal. Uh, and then large, you know, if you have small orders and you want them to display quite large, that's, um, that's what that's for. But I usually just keep it on medium. Uh, and then you have a second, uh, a checkbox here called should produce single PDF. And what this does is if you have multiple packing slips uh, in the directory and you want to be able to, you know, when you print, print it off in your thermal label printer, you're, you're not going to want to open each packing slip and press print, open the next one, press print. You're going to want to open a single one, press print. And then it just like, you know, if you have eight packing slips, eight, labels just come flying out of your printer. That's that's the quickest, best way to do it. So if you have, you know, 8, 10, 15, I mean, it really as many um, as you want, you can click this and it will pr put it into a single PDF that can be easily printed all at once from your label printer. Um, so let's go into uh, sample packing slips. So I have two sample packing slips. I already showed you kind of the first one here. Um, Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to press browse and that's going to allow me to, let's go ahead and copy this. So we're going to go to this directory. It's the sample packing slips directory is what I selected, which is the one where I have these two packing slips. I say select folder and you're going to see automatically it says working directory has been changed and it found two packing slips in that directory. Great, so that's perfect, since there's two of them. Um, so what I'm gonna do, just to kind of show you, is I'm gonna press convert, and it only takes a few seconds, and it says created label, created label. So I created two labels, and you can see uh, they're suffixed by a four by six, so you know exactly which ones it created. These are the originals. This is the uh, four by six that it just created, and so let's go ahead and open that one. And bam, um, yeah, there we go. Just kind of zoomed in a little. So uh, what I made sure to include is the shipping uh, address because I I would what I would do is still cut this top off and then just use you know stick this right on my envelope uh, and then it has the order number, kind of all the essential information. If there's any information here that uh, that isn't on the original packing slip that you feel is important to have on here. Uh, I'm all ears. Please comment in the comment section because uh, I can, I'd love to make improvements on this. Maybe you think there could be improvements to how it's formatted uh, or, or the layout. So please, 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 you know, let me know on that. I'd love to make improvements on this. Um, but let's go back. I'm going to quickly show you, uh, I'm going to produce a small one. So let's go ahead and press convert. It did that. And then let's also go to large and I'm just gonna do that as well. Okay, so now you can see in my directory, I have a large, a medium and a small. So what I'm gonna do is close this out and I'm going to open all three of these just so you can see the difference between small, medium and large. So here is our medium, let me put that in the middle. Here is our small. Uh, so as you can see, it's much more condensed, a lot smaller, it doesn't take very much room. But let's say you had 20 different items, you might be able to fit this on a single packing slip instead of maybe two. 
or even three if it's a very large order. So that's when small can be useful. Here's our medium, and then here's our large. So if it's a small order, you may want to use the large function uh, or the large uh, size here uh, in order to kind of maximize the space that you're using and it, it's much more readable, it looks good. Um, the last feature that I already kind of alluded to here is the should produce single PDF. So let's go ahead and go back here and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and delete these ones that I already created just so you can see how it works. Uh, let's go back to normal and then I'm going to select this. So it should produce single PDF and I'm going to press convert and it created this new TCG player dash labels and then it's got the data on it and it's a four by six. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And what you can see now is this one that's generated is both of my TCG player labels, but in a single document. So now I can go, I'm just going to press control P and I can print this using my, my label printer. And these are both going to just fly out of my printer. If I had, if I had 10 of these, it would, um, uh, it would, you know, be much quicker to, to print all 10 in this fashion as opposed to trying to uh, print one at a time. Um, so yeah, that is, that's pretty much it. That's how this tool works. Um, and then before I kind of close out, I did want to talk about just my plan for um, what I'm calling Canto tools and my plan for this channel is, uh, you know, I, I already mentioned it. I'm a software developer. Um, that's what I do for a living. And I'd like to bring some of my expertise, some of uh, my skill set uh, to the Pokemon community. Uh, this is, this is going to be a free tool, at least for the foreseeable future. Uh, and what I plan on doing is creating uh, kind of a suite of tools. This is I, this one I sort of whipped up. Um, yeah, it's a it's a Windows application, so you have to run it on Windows. You can't run it on Mac, but eventually I would like to uh, get a website going uh, where these tools are available for everyone on you know whatever operating system you're using. So um, I would definitely start you know just look out for that in the future. Um, It'll be some. It'll be a suite that I call like Canto tools or um, something along those lines, and it'll contain tools like this that that are helpful for. Um, it could be helpful for selling on TCG Player. It could be helpful for um, you know buying and selling Pokemon cards, Pokemon investing, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, stuff that I'm interested in. Stuff that will honestly be useful to me as well. So. Uh, I figured if it's useful to me, it'll be useful to you guys. Um, so yeah, look out for that in the future. And uh, the download for this is in the description. Uh, enjoy and let me know how using it goes. Um, I hope it's a, a good experience and I am always willing to make changes and uh, you know create new features for this as we go. All right, thank you everyone. So I'm coming up for the